uh, writing a comedy pilot for NBC. A sitcom? How can you write that crap? <laughs> We got all day tomorrow to come up with a story. All day tomorrow? We had a month and a half to come up with something. We didn't do anything. Huh? They wrote nothing in 30 days. Mm hmm. That's because he had George for a partner. <laughs> you can't meet anybody. You're going out with Susan. Yeah. Uh. Why do you look disappointed? <laughs> See, George is never happy if he has a girl or not. Doesn't matter. George, Marla. Marla. George, Jerry, Stacy. Stacy. Jerry. George, Stacy. Stacy. <laughs> Let's lay out all the names. <laughs> wow, what a great job. A writer. Oh. Not a bad way to earn a buck. <laughs> he hasn't written shit. <laughs> the next day. So you're going to go out with him? I might. What about Susan? Um. What? I'm not married. Bruh. She can ask. <gasps> what about Saturday nights? Do you have to ask her out or is the date implied? Implied. She got anything in your medicine cabinet? Might be some moisturizer. <laughs> Toothbrush over there. Is there any Tampax in your house? <laughs> yup. Yup. Look at his face. Yup. <laughs> yeah. yourself a girlfriend oh yeah, yeah sure do you're basically living together how do you not know this george I i'm getting out of this thing break up with her but you know what this means don't you the script the pilot the tv show that's all over she's one of the executives at nbc that's gonna make the decision whether or not they pick up the show you drop her off <laughs> yep no more show think about this george no what if i could find some way to break up with her so that she'll still like me and it doesn't affect the deal oh, possible <laughs> She's got a big crush on David Letterman. Suppose I go up to David Letterman. Look at Seinfeld's face. I explain my situation. He agrees to meet at David. He's like, this is unrealistic. Later. I have no closet sense. Why is she back in your closet? Are you trying to hit on her again? You dumped her once. You're going to dump her twice? <laughs> uh, Marla Kramer. <laughs> Do you approve Kramer? Anytime Kramer makes one of his little sounds like... <laughs> Yeah, you can tell he approves. Kramer. Oh, yeah, you. <laughs> See? He's still going. <laughs> Just then. I'm a virgin. Oh! Hi, uh. Oh! <laughs> Elaine. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't know you had come. I'm just gonna kick Elaine out. We have to talk about this. I was talking to this guy, you know, and I just happened to throw my purse, and my diaphragm goes flying out. <laughs> Elaine, she's not ready. <laughs> Much later. She's a virgin. <laughs> George is like, how? I don't think I could do it. Why? You know, they always remember the first time. I don't want to be remembered. I want to be forgotten. <laughs> George said that's too much responsibility for my ass. I can barely handle just getting up in the morning. Hey, uh, we're ordering uh, Chinese food. If you want anything, let me know what it is. Hold up. <laughs> Damn! Somebody likes Chinese. We get extra MSG. Meanwhile. Now, the one thing you've got to be ready for is how the man changes into a completely different person five seconds after it's over. <laughs> I mean, something happens to their personality. Yeah. Elaine is gonna scare the shit out of this poor woman. <laughs> oh. Much, much later. Hey, what happened? There was a bit of an accident. Head hurts. Something happened to the food? Oh shit, not the delivery. George! The pea pods? All you said was the pea pods? Hey, you got the food? Yeah. No, I don't want it back. What about the meeting? And look, an hour with Patrick Swayze. Can't believe you put it off until today, and then we couldn't do anything because Elaine runs out to apologize to a virgin. Now we're gonna go make fools of ourselves. We got nothing. <laughs> George has the look of total shame, disappointment, sadness. <laughs> You're out of the business. Even when Seinfeld yells, he looks like he's smiling. I swear to God. I told them that my sister died. <laughs> my poor sister died. She was standing on the street. <laughs> George! Jerry, come on, take me home so I can comfort my... 
My poor family. What? What? That's David Letterman. I just saw David Letterman walk by. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta go be a fan girl right now. <laughs> uh, nice to meet you. Uh, where's Russell? He uh, he had to go to LA. So how are you guys coming along? Good, good. We've got a number of ideas. We have nothing. <laughs> have you ever been to a Chinese restaurant and they tell you to be like five minutes for a table and you wind up waiting there for like thirty minutes? Well, we thought it would be very funny to do an entire show where all you're doing is waiting for the table. We've all been in that situation. You know, you're, you're waiting. She's a stone face. Shit. When's Russell coming back? <laughs> we have an idea where um, I get into an accident with a guy who has no insurance and the judge sentences him to be my butler. <laughs> they like that? Oh, shit. So George's idea was gold. Okay. Check out George. Took off for nothing. <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, Russell? <laughs> How are you? Good to Hi, see you, Steve. Jay, always a pleasure. Hi, sweet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that butler right. Her face, uh oh. Was he not supposed to kiss her? Later that same evening. Hi, it's me, it's Georgie Boy. What's going on? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I'm fired. Yes. Fired? Why? Because you kissed me. You kissed me, you stupid idiot. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about that. Shit. How she might get in trouble. You are a stupid, stupid man. This is great. Bruh. This is incredible. He fired her. I'm out, baby. Oh, my gosh, George. What is this? Here come to George. Here come to George. <laughs> you got to be there for her. Yeah. You got to at least wait until she gets another job. I'm stuck. Every time I think I'm out, they pull. <laughs> Serves you right. <laughs> Karma. The following day. Oh, shoot. We getting frisky in the closet. Watch out now, hangers. Elaine said men like to leave after it's over. Maybe I should be going. What is this about leaving after sex? Did I ever leave with you? You might have if I had stayed. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> Look at George. He lucked out, huh? Who'd have figured Susan would break up with him? They had a good thing going. Yeah. What do I do? Well, actually, I'm a writer. I'm uh, writing a comedy pilot for NBC. A sitcom? How can you write that crap? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the disrespect. Karma. Huge backfire. That's what you get, George. Mm -hmm. You destroyed Susan and now you got paid for it. You think you're just gonna walk off scot free with a new girl? Smiling? We ain't doing that today. Nope. George is a trip. The more and more I see from him, I'm just like, I can't with them. I can't with him. <laughs> he, he, he has. It, wait, what happened to my screen? He just doesn't give a shit. At the end of the day, it's all about George. Poor Susan. She did go through quite a bit being with his ass. Jeez, nothing good. <laughs> oh gosh. The episodes, when I'm watching Seinfeld, I swear to God, it's like, it's like when you're playing a video game, like the time just goes by quickly and you lose track of time doesn't even feel like, I mean, it's only 20 some minutes, but still, it goes by so fast. I love the fact that George was trying to, you know, get out of being involved, and he did it in such a sneaky, conniving ass way, and it backfired on him. Well, he kissed, my, my slow ass, when he kissed Susan, I'm not thinking nothing. I'm, I mean, I'm not thinking about her job. I'm thinking, oh, maybe she's shocked that he did that in front of everyone, but not because she's going to lose her job over it. I'm not even thinking, you know, yeah, that could be a problem that you're you're dabbling with somebody that they're considering working with. Didn't even consider that. And who the fuck's horn is honking? All right, y'all, on that note, I'm going to end this video. Make sure to give this...
Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, share my video. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Seinfeld episode, The Virgin. I'll see you guys in my next reaction video.